Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew 2. I wanted to show you this old-fashioned digitizer tablet, if you will. A friend of mine that deals with used computers and parts pulled this out of his stash that he got and uh, thought I might want to show you guys because it's different. These were typically found in early uh, the 90s, like 1989, 1990. And it's made, this one's made to work with AutoCAD. And uh, what it is, it's basically like a uh, pen pad, like a sketch pad. Let me show you a modern one here. This is actually a modern one with the stylus. And this plugs into a USB port. And you can draw on this and use it like a mouse. You can select things where you can set up um, you can set up macros as well. So this is what a modern one looks like. Now this is a very simple one, but uh, I think back in the day this was quite a bit of money. Now this was covered up with a piece of plastic, this hard plastic. It's right here, and it's kind of messed up. So I took it off so you could see it better. But I think you could actually use like a erasable marker to write on this. Now I don't have the power cable for this or any other stylus. This will run with a, uh, a stylus or a cursor type of pointing device. And from what I understand, the cursor had like a four or six buttons on it. And basically what this did is it allowed designers or CAD users to aid in using their computers. Now, back when this came out, you're talking about a, a 286, 386, and 486 processors. Very early, still in the DOS years. Even though, you know, this would probably work on a Windows 3.1, that sort of thing. So that gives you an idea how old this is. Anyway, this is just a template to AutoCAD, and you can remove this. And there's also a little window with a card. And this was specifically made for AutoCAD Autodesk, and I'm sure that there were other types as well. You can see that there's little symbols on here, so you can pick them real quick. Drawing tools, there's pictures of... Um, this one almost looks like... Uh, something to des to design rooms or houses because there's a lot of uh, you know like cabinets and lamps cases bed um, like a piano so this was probably used for architectural use and I'm sure that there were other cards for electronic schematics or parts whatever you were designing and you would just slide in the new card under here, depending on what you wanted to use. So pretty neat technology. This was this is you know 25 years old, and uh, really a whole bunch hasn't really changed over the years. I mean, this is still a digitizer, and it was made to work on a serial port, whereas today they work on a uh, USB port. Now you could also use this to trace with, and I'm sure that was a big use for it. You know, if you had something that you wanted to trace, you could put it here, and then you could put your sheet over it here, and uh, you could just outline it, and that would enter, enter it into the computer. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, so kind of an old technology. I looked up this company. This is the Summer Sketch 3, and uh, of course they don't manufacture this anymore, but uh, the company's still in existence. So evidently, if you want like a tablet desk pad type thing, they're still available. And um, that's about all there is to say. I don't have the cable, so I can't plug it in. But it's kind of interesting to look at, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Let me flip it over real quick, and I'll show you the other side, what that looks like. That's pretty much it. It's got these feet that lift up here. 
And as far as the power and the input, you can see that they're uh, kind of like a phone plug type thing. This would be for the cursor and the or the stylist, and this would be for the uh, power itself. And like I said, I'm guessing this is from 1989, 1990. So it's about 24, 25 years old. And, uh, it's all yellowed and stained, but it's a, it's a reminder of our past. So anyway, leave your comments if you've actually used one of these. I'd like to hear from you and what you think of it. We're just going to give it back to my friend now that I've showed it to you. And I don't know what he'll do with it, but uh, something to look at. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the GuruBrewShow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.